Hi, I'm Alexis and I'm here at the Nash booth with the kite designer Damien. How are you doing, sir? Very good, thank you. You've got some great looking kites this year. Thanks a lot. Yeah, let's talk about them. Yeah, so we have a very uh, complete line of kites. We have seven kites in the line, uh, you know, kind of like targeting each segment of the, of the sports. And um, there's one I'm really excited about this year. Uh, it's the new Park HD. Uh, the Park's been in the line for years with us. It was a very, it is a very successful kite. Uh, a lot of following. I think it was really a trend uh, setter on the market, having the kind of like sea kite looking uh, with bridles. And uh, this year we really worked a lot on trying to improve it a lot. That's why it went from a Park to a Park HD. Uh, in my head, Park HD was so clear when we first tried the kite. Uh, the first prototype that came in, the thing was so crisp, so direct in the bar. It was like, shit, it's like kiting in high definition here. Cause so, it's so, so, so you got it right the first time? Well, the first sample was like <laughs> so close to what we were trying yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, um, so yeah, the idea was like uh, working on the pivot the year before. I tested a lot of different aspect ratios uh, for the kites and I learned a lot about how I could improve the kite by moving the, changing the aspect ratio, but I also learned how to keep the kite turning because usually when you make a higher aspect ratio the kites kind of turn slower so the park hd that's what i did i took a 4.1 aspect ratio that i had on last year's and put it to 4.6 and this gap changed the kite so much in terms of uh, performance the kite is just higher performing at every level not just higher performing like you need to be a better kiter for it but the kite just you know starts starts um, in lighter wind uh, has better high end jumps better uh, and it turns just as good as it was, so the turning was good, so we kept the turning. So now the kite is actually closer to even a, a pure freestyle kite if you want a freestyle, but at the same time, as far as like for me, for example, I, I ride strapless a lot, the kite's a lot better for strapless too. So it's, it's overall, it became just a broader, better kite at every aspect, and I'm super excited about it. And the first reviews we had, like the European magazines have already tested it, they're super psyched on it. I got people calling me, uh, like random people on Facebook sending me texts because they tried it and they love it. So I'm super excited about it, and uh, definitely you want to get your hand on, get your hands on one and try it because it's really an exciting product. I'm super excited on it this year. Um, also on the line is the Pivot. The Pivot was a huge success last year. Uh, obviously, I, I don't even know if I really have to talk too much about it because it was uh, hands down like our best setter in the last probably five or six years. Uh, so a lot of people are excited about it. Uh, the target for that kite started as like a kind of like wave riding strapless oriented kite, but we've always tested it as a free ride because of course most people probably don't ride waves. Uh, so we wanted it to be really good on waves. So one of the focus was to make it really easy to jump. Um, it really make kite loop easy, you know, in case you want to get into kite loops. And that's really what, what we reached. And what was funny is like, Noticing that when you work on trying to make the kite easy for strapless, you just make it easy for every aspect of uh, you know kiting. So the so it's kite, more a broader base it's kite. a super broad uh, kite. It's really like if you get one kite, you get that one, you, you're good. You know it's gonna work, and that's uh, that was really uh, the main focus on it. With some focus, you know, we live on Maui. There's waves all the time, so we we ride waves a lot. So a focus on like getting a good wave kite on the same time. But by making good wave kite, we also made a good free ride kite, and it was. It's not by luck, it's because we did, you know, did focus on both. Um, as far as like free ride kite goes, we also have the, the ride. And the ride is, um, it's been on the, on the line for a few years. And uh, what's key about this kite compared to other kites, it only has two struts. Um, so it's got no center strut, if you know, if you compare to other kites. Uh, and this gives it a really, really good low end. So it's a kite that's really easy to get going. Um, the good low end is also a good, you know, power. So when you shit in the kite, uh, you get a lot of power, instant power, so it makes it a really easy kite for beginners. It's not necessarily a beginner's kite. I've, I've been, I've been riding it a lot myself in the waves before, and uh, you know I love it. I've been jumping on it, but it's really easy for beginners to get on that kite. So it's a kite that you know you can get when you when you start or when you're like not that good yet, and you're gonna go really far on it. I mean, there's there's guys, uh, you know, now there's guys riding the big surf on it. They love it. That's the kite. That's their kite. They, they love it. So you can go really far on it. Uh, some of our pro riders, like I'm thinking about the French guy Paul Serrand, has been riding it as his like fun kite to ride, and you can see him sending tricks on it. So it's a kite that you, definitely you want to grow. So that's a good kite that you can progress from yeah, beginner all the way to exactly. Beginner. That's that's really key on that kite. It's not just you know just not oriented to the beginner. So, we have great bars too. So yeah, all right. So uh, here is our uh, fusion control system. It comes in. Uh, two setup. One is uh, 
below the bar, which is uh, what we've been we've been doing for a, a lot of years, and um, I really personally like that system. Uh, I think it's a lot cleaner. There's less chance to get uh, tangling up there. But I know a lot of people like the above the bar because they're used to it. So we uh, we did an above the bar system this year uh, with a with a clamp cleat um, that you can change the height of by just pulling here and then you can you can change the height so that's that's a new thing for us this year we have a clamp cleat above the bar system with you know the velcro to uh, hold the handle so that's the that's the, the above the bar fusion uh, lots of like awesome molded parts in there like the bungee comes in uh, you know you put it out put it in and then it comes back in there's not nothing tangling around uh, you can change the line lengths and the width of the bar here Easily, you just rotate it, put it back in, or you change the change the lens here. That's uh, totally integrated, like no knots up there, no no uh, complicated parts. Um, and then uh, we have our price point control system, which is the base bar. It comes with a shoulder leash uh, because you know most likely uh, price point you may not do any handle pass ever. Uh, it's got a you know really good grip, really good features. It's pretty much like a high-end bar, uh, except it's our price point. Very clean, very basic, yeah, super but functional. Super streamlined. Like I was saying, the below the bar makes everything really clean up here. Uh, you know, just a new, a new part here is super simple. And then, uh, as far as like uh, women goes, we have a Fusion Yolana bar, which is a. Uh, it's the same uh, components as the Fusion, uh, but it's a shorter bar. It's got a shorter trim. And it's got the cars more oriented to the women's, so that's our bar. That's been a, a pretty big success uh, with women's. They, they love it. They love the shorter trim and the shorter bar. Obviously, it makes the, the kite softer and uh, smoother. And there you go. It's up for the bar. Now, where can we find more information on all the kites? Where so can they? All the kite sizes, all the functional stuff. Where can they go? Everything is on nashkites.com, and uh, that's all the info you need. Nice videos. Everything is explained. To spend some time. We have some new uh, 3D features this year. You can see all the product in 3D, zoom on it, it's pretty awesome. Well, thank you so much, sir. My pleasure.